We were talking about the uh, Chris Young song sounding like the David Bowie, uh, what's it called, Rebel Rebel? Rebel Rebel, yeah. Yeah, the songs are meant to be that. We're calling Chris real quick. Hello. Hey, man, what do you know, sexy? Oh. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, now what? you got me. What's oh, up? that's even sexier. So, okay, uh. so we were talking about how uh, your song sounds like Rebel Rebel, and then Carson said, no, that's on purpose. It's called Interpolation, and David Bowie is actually going to get possibly – Songwriting credit? Okay, so, like, if y'all have a second, I'll walk you through the whole process of how the song found its way to me, because then it'll make more sense. Okay. okay. All right. Um, okay. Uh, so, I got pitched this song. I actually didn't write this one. This is one of the ones on the album that I'm not a writer on. I just produced it and sang it. Um, but when it got played for me, they didn't give me a heads up on, on what the song was. You know, we were just going through a list of songs that they had that they were pitching. And uh, when they played me this song, immediately I'm like, well, that's the lick from Rebel Rebel. Uh-huh. That, that's the David Bowie lick. And now I listen to the song, I'm like, this is really, really cool. So I was like, what's the deal with, with using the lick from Rebel Rebel and like building a brand new song around it? Because it's not like a sample. You actually used that lick and then built that into the melody and the chorus, but it's a brand new song. And they're like, yeah we uh, got the rights to his entire catalog. They, they bought it. Um, and they were like, we intentionally wanted to do this using David Bowie's catalog to create new stuff. And I'm uh, like, well, that's awesome. So he is listed as a songwriter on the song. Oh, that wow. is the coolest thing ever. So Plus, they, they, they spent the money on it. So they want to actually use it. They're like, hey, we paid for it. Well, we want to actually <laughs> use this. I get it. Yeah, and this is just kind of a different way of them being able to do that. Obviously, they're they're going to get <laughs> a lot of mileage out of the fact that just they they have the right to sell the David Bowie songs. Period. Right. But I just thought it was a really unique way of doing it. Um, you know, it's it's like I said, it's not using a sample or or using like a bunch of lines. It's it's a brand new song with the spirit of that and using that lick from Rebel Rebel and that energy into something new. So I well, thought that was really, really cool. I want to play a little bit of Rebel Rebel real quick and then uh, also then go right into... Oh, you'll hear, um, you'll hear yeah. exactly what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, so for those of you who are just tuning in, this is the original from back in the day. When did this come out? Do you know, Carson? Oh, my gosh. 70-ish. In the 70s? No, like early 70s. Early, early, Like 70-ish. Yeah. Oh. Somewhere up in there. Oh. And then now, you'll hear Young Love and Saturday Nights with Chris Young. The first time I heard it, dude, I was sitting in the house, and I'm working <laughs> in the house, and I'm like singing, Rebel, Rebel. And I'm going, wait, wait a minute. Wait a second. We've got to talk to Chris Young about this. How did this happen? And then That's Carson cool. explained interpolation. And uh, it's a great song. And I think what's cool about it is because it's so familiar, we like what we know yep. as a culture. Yep. And this song is familiar, and I'm, I'm excited. And it turns for- out that Rebel Rebel was put out in 74. So we are almost at the 50-year mark. So for Chris to go. take this song yeah. with the reimagination of it is exposing it to like a whole new two generations. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Wow. Well, good job. Did well, you know you were doing again, all that? You know, yeah. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I like that you guys phrased it that way. It makes me sound much cooler. Um, <laughs> it, it, uh, it was one of those things where I just heard it and I was like, this is a really unique way to take that and still, you know, give new life to something, but also it's very much, Rebel Rebel is the lick that inspired this song. And I do think it's cool that David Bowie gets the songwriter For credit. Sure. Because now he's written a country. It's sadly, his first ever country credit. I was going to say, sadly, he didn't live long enough to see himself become a country songwriter. <laughs> you know what? I uh, I just think it's, it's one of those things. You never know what's going to end up happening um, with music. And I, I think one of the things that you guys also touched on that I think is cool you know, there are going to be people out there like me that immediately know that that's a David Bowie lick. And there's going to be other people that are maybe introduced to that song for the first time because of something like this. Yeah. Well, sounds good, man. Congrats on another, uh, you know, thing you do. And by the way, you need to have <laughs> us on your podcast. I think that'd be kind of fun. It'll be role reversal. Oh, I'd like to be interviewed. 
Ah, see, that just cemented it. Now I have to. Oh, all right. We'll talk Star Wars and all that. We don't have to talk out. Star Wars. We don't have to. Oh, just hit me in the head with hey, a knife, Ryan. Hey, you talk movies on the podcast, so that segues perfectly. All right. All right, man. Well, it's good hearing from you, man. Great. Uh, congratulations on the new song. Hey, thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We'll Take you, care, bro. brother. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that was that was great. That was good. You did good. Thank you. I you have were, no idea what it was because it's taped afterwards. But mm-hmm. you were you amazing, sh- though. Thanks. Appreciate it.